So the next is preservation of aql, of the intellect. You have to preserve the intellect. Because that's where we were honored, with the intellect. So sharia came to preserve the intellect. So it prohibited things that harm the intellect. So anything that harms the intellect, sharia says avoid it. To preserve your intellect. Like intoxicants. They harm the intellect. And now the amazing thing about it is, you know, 1400 years later, oh, by the way, every time you have a glass of wine, you destroy all these brain cells. Right? Literally, you kill brain cells. And, and then there's people who say, well, we've got so many, that's okay, right? I mean, we can afford to lose a few, right? Right? The problem is, how do you know you're not losing the right ones, right? Maybe it's the reserve ones that, that you don't lose. It's the ones you're using, right? Because we're only using, what, point... I think it's, now it's 0.01 or something. It used to be 10% of the brain, and now th then it went to 5%. Now they say it's less than 1% of the brain is actually being used, right? Latest uh, neuro... I mean, these are theories, obviously. But they, the, the reason they got that information is because they had people that were hydrocephalic, um, who had literally less than 5% of normal brain mass, born with that. And they had normal IQs and went to universities and got degrees. Right? With literally less than 5% of, of, of what the brain mass that we have. And I really think in some ways, Allah Ta'ala, this is purely speculation. I have absolutely no evidence for this. But I think in some ways, a, 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 what they call a fatah from Allah, an opening. Like I think people like Abu Hamid al-Ghazali, you know, they were probably like given like just massive amount of intellect. You know, it was opened up for them. People like that. Because you wonder, I mean, how these people could write what they wrote. You know, man writes 400 books and, you know, just the things that they knew. And just sitting with some of the people I've sat with, like Murab al-Hajj, who's mastered, I mean, he's mastered around, you know, 15 sciences that just one of them, if you master that in your lifetime, that is a major accomplishment. I'm not making that up. I mean, just the Arabic language, if you mastered that in a lifetime, nowadays, that is a major accomplishment. Because these so-called doctors, PhDs in Arabic language, they have nowhere near the mastery of uh, these people in the desert. Really, they don't. So, you know, you just wonder, what, what is all that massive uh, cerebral power to do that? Some kind of opening from Allah. You know, it's an opening, quite literally. Allah Ta'ala. So, so how, where did we go? We said the light, the uh, uh, deen, uh, nafs, right? Nasab, wealth, and intellect. Those are the five. 